Hello, welcome to IGN, I'm Daniel. Now, Dark Souls 2 is out next month, but this came out this week, and I bought this at the weekend. It's the Dark Souls Design Works. It originally came out in Japan a couple of years ago, but it's just been translated for a Western release. Now, I just wanna show you what's inside it and let you know if it's worth picking up or not. Now, in the kind of time-honored tradition of all great reviewers, all great critics, FY Levis, William Empson, I can confirm it smells really, 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 really nice. So here you go, here's the book. It comes with this very nice dust jacket, which is kind of shiny, silver and black, and textured. I think they refer to this as pearlized. Um, but if we remove this, um, you'll see it's got a slightly different design, but equally nice on the inside. It's got a matte finish, and it's got kind of a red framework. Um, let's just go to the contents page. So for Dark Souls, it's got a very fitting epigraph, offer up your humanity. And if we look at the contents list, um, it's only 128 pages long, which for a game you might have sunk thousands of hours into might seem a little bit slight, but what's in there is interesting nevertheless. Um, so the first section is concept art. Now a lot of this imagery is very familiar. It was used early on in production to get the game out and this was the actual cover of the game. I think that was used on an Edge magazine cover a couple of years ago. So really highly polished finished imagery. You get on to the second part which forms pretty much the bulk of the of the art book and this is kind of the design material. So this is the actual stuff that they use to make the game. So a lot of kind of um, concept art, a lot of production art. Now what you'll notice is it kind of, for a world that is so big and detailed and interlocking, it kind of jumps around a lot and there's not much on each section. What there is is interesting, but it's not very heavily annotated or taken apart. Occasionally you'll get some light information about how the environment actually functions, but a lot of it is just kind of visually led. But you also get on to other stuff like you get the boss materials, and eventually you'll get to kind of clothing, and weapons. Obviously the, the creatures take up a lot of the book space. Eventually you get to clothing. Now there is really nice detail on some of the classes like the deprived. You can see how to correctly tie a loincloth which is always useful information. And weapons again. Now there, there are countless weapons in Dark Souls so you know it's kind of maybe slightly disappointing for the hardcore fan that it only takes up a few pages but you know it's not an exhaustive um, design manual. Now, the book concludes with probably the, the highlight of, of, of the piece, which is a 10-page interview with series creator uh, Miyazaki. There's a little picture of him there as a little sweet-faced child and four other um, designers from From Software, which really gives you some insight into how the game was designed, put together, and what made it so distinctive and unique as a project. And that concludes with a full kind of staff list for From Software and the entire team that worked on the game. So that is the Dark Souls design works. It's a little bit kind of slight if you were looking for an exhaustive behind the scenes look at Dark Souls, but what is in there is very high quality and interesting nevertheless. So if you're a big fan of the series, definitely worth checking out, definitely worth having on your bookshelf. It's out in the UK and the US now. In the UK it's about 30 quid, you can get it online and you get it in some comic book shops. In the US I think it's about $40, but it's cheaper again on Amazon. So that's it, definitely worth picking up if you're a fan of the series. So for everything Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, stay right here on IGN. You don't have to, I can't, can't make you.